work in progress whatever happens whatever is required in the work in progress all those things are included different phases when i talk about business cycle different phases of business cycles then you will see more capital so what exactly happens is there is a volatility because of business cycle when you don't have demand you will not manufacture it so demand and the supply will also play so that is we call that as seasonal factor Hello everybody a warm welcome to one and all I'm Abhilash Chandra from the department of business studies in Vidyashram PU college the temple of excellence welcome to the session here in this session we're going to talk more about working capital so i told you that what exactly a working capital is all about so whenever you go and you buy current assets we usually use working capital so what exactly a working capital is a working capital is a capital which is used to buy or purchase the current assets so you should know what exactly a current asset is all about so when you think about current assets i'll give you a simple kind of a suggestions or a tips to remember what exactly is a current asset current assets are those assets which can be converted into cash very fast so it's like you buy current asset you don't have money you sell those current assets and you get the cash so that is what the current asset is all about so when i talk about asset assets are something which you have that is called assets right so we'll go with it working capital what exactly it is apart from the investment in fixed assets every business organization i'll tell you let me include all the business organizations right whenever i talk more about business organization it's all about what where people are actually going with economic activity economic activity now you should know that the characteristics of business is what it's an economic activity right so this is what it is apart from the investment apart from investment of the fixed assets every business organization needs to invest in current assets so this is the key point current assets this investment facilitates smooth day to day operation of the business and that is called as the working capital so this is what the working capital is all about so here what it is it's all about what you'll purchase the current assets you'll purchase the current asset so that we call it as working capital so hope you have understood what a working capital is a quick recall whenever you want to buy current assets which capital will you use will you use fixed or working it's always working capital for buying or purchasing the fixed assets you will use fixed capital so please understand this equation for fixed capital it's all about fixed assets for working capital it's all about the current assets so this is what the difference is all about next one examples of current assets i told you right what exactly a current asset is whenever you purchase a current assets and you feel that you need money you can sell the current assets as soon as possible so that means what current assets are those assets which can be converted to cash next sure what exactly it is one is cash in hand cash you already have that is the current assets cash at bank whenever you want you can actually go and get the cash next is marketable securities marketable securities the securities which are in the market and you can actually buy and sell immediately that is called the marketable securities now bills receivable now all these things you have already uh, gone through in the accountancy in the first puc i don't need to talk more about it debtors now again debtors is also what it can be converted next is finished goods inventory after the finished goods inventory is done whatever you actually sell that is what you will get the cash so we call that as current assets next here is work in progress yes majorly for this part work in progress you really require working capital working capital right next raw materials now, raw materials are what though it is a variable cost it is 
you you are supposed to know that the raw materials how though it is a variable cost how it can be a current asset you have taken the raw material you have purchased the raw material now you don't need the raw material you will give it back to the person where you have taken it and what does he do he will see what uh, have you used and how much is the value of it and then he'll pay the amount that is why raw material is also called as the current assets next is prepaid expenses already you have prepaid already you have actually gone for it so just what again you can convert those into cash so i'll go with uh, once again cash in hand cash at bank easily you can remember because business studies is holistic kind of a thing if you understand here you can actually apply this in accountancy as well as in economics so cash in hand and cash at bank are the current assets next is marketable securities you know what are the securities we are talking more about the shares here now bills are receivable debtors finished goods inventory then you have some called work in progress whatever happens whatever is required in the work in progress all those things are included then we have raw materials and lastly we have prepaid expenses so these are the current assets next we have something called the work that is the working capital requirement the factors which affects the working capital requirement so i'll just write it here now let's go with industry now we have three types of industry one is the primary industry secondary industry and then we have tertiary industry so when we talk about it primary industry depends on the nature see all the industries here are what they are depending upon the nature of the business here tertiary always go with services services right here primary is what it will actually go more with the extraction extraction and genetic here secondary goes with more of construction analytical and it goes with uh, more of constructions analytically and then constructing the dams roads all those things right now here you have more so which is the industry where working capital is required more try to understand secondary industry they require more comparatively to the primary industry now try to understand if you compare primary industry and secondary industry which is the industry where working capital is less that is a sec tertiary industries why because nature of the business what exactly they are doing it scale of operation now here scale of operation any industry which is gigantic in their own phase those industry require more working capital the reason here is the scale of operation when you have big industry and more people more labor more intensive corporates what happens is working capital will always go more so day to day life whatever happens they are supposed to go for it next one here we have as business cycle now business cycle when i tell about the primary industry extraction or the genetic or second industry construction analytical tertiary industry from the first point to the last point money is required because we call that has work in progress so this is what the current asset work in progress so here it is required next is seasonal factor because of the seasons working capital is also it differs the reason i'll tell you some of the seasons you work more in some of the seasons you work less so what happens is these are the factors which will definitely affect the working capital production cycle i'll talk more about production cycle in the slides then credit allowed now here while manufacturing or rendering service or when you are selling any kind of a thing it is obvious that credit will be there right so that is what is called credit allowed so we will talk more about that next we have credit availed then operating efficiency 
availability of raw material now sometimes what happens is the raw material is costly sometimes the raw materials are costly sometimes it is minimized next is you have is growth prospects then level of competition inflation now inflation means what a uh, general raise in the price of all the commodities we call it as inflation again working capital will also have a impact on inflation so we'll go one by one what exactly these things are first is nature of business the basic nature of business influence the amount of working capital required a trading organization usually need a lower amount of working capital compared to the manufacturing organization so if you have seen the fixed capital fixed capital factors the nature of business will actually impact in the fixed capital as well as the working capital so i don't need to explain it more if you have not watched the session 9 please uh, go and watch it session 10 also you need to watch so these are the things which you will come across and then it is very useful as well as it is very easy to understand what exactly these things are nature of business like a trading concern or you compare it with any of the other kind of a business where the working capital is required more so in a trading concern what happens is every day you don't need to actually invest more but if it is a manufacturing one every day there will be what the money will be taken and uh, they'll use it for the purchase of current assets next is scale of operation again is the same kind of a thing fixed capital and the working capital both of them will have an effect on scale of operation supposingly a big company is there the way they are operating and a small company the way they are operating both will not match with the working capital as well as the uh, fixed capital so they will definitely have a problem here for organization which operates on an higher scale of operation the quantum of inventories data is required is generally high you need to understand that yes if the scale of operation of operation is more what happens is if it is more what will happen is you will incur more money when you incur more money it will definitely affect the working capital instead of 1 lakh rupees in a small company if you compare it with a big company probably they will actually go with 5 lakh rupees or 10 lakh rupees per day so this is what the thing and it will definitely affect the working capital system next one here is business cycle Now, what exactly a business cycle is different phases when i talk about business cycle different phases of business cycles affects the requirement of working capital by a firm when they go with more of business cycle what happens is now we have something like i'll just give you an example here itself say this is the first one this is the second one here the third one the fourth one and the fifth one so whenever you go with it initially you don't require more money right initially you don't require more money later it is all what the more that means what the more you are going for the business cycle initially it will be less working capital then the you will see more capital so what exactly happens is there is a volatility because of business cycle in case of boom the sales as well as productions are likely to be higher so initially when you have less uh, sales what will happen and the products what will happen you need to understand here sales you, you have here the production is there now the more sales will make you feel that you should go for more production but if you produce more and sales are less that is a loss for you so what exactly happens is when the sales and the production both are doing really good more working capital you are supposed to put if sales and production is less less working capital will you will put so the business cycle will actually play a very huge role in the factors which will affect the working capital next is seasonal factors the same kind of a thing we have something called lean and uh, we have something called peak this is called the peak 
where sales are more. Sales are more. Okay, this is for these. When sales are less, sales are less. Okay, now this is what it is. Most business have some seasonally in their operation. In peak season, because of higher level of activity, higher amount of working capital is required. So here what happens is working capital is required. Working capital is required. Is required more or high. Here what happens is when you talk more about the uh, lean one, working capital is less required. Is less. Yeah. Has against this, the level of activity as well as the requirement of working capital will be lower during the lean season. Yes. See, it's our best example, I'll tell you. Umbrellas. When you manufacture umbrellas, what is the season you actually manufacture umbrellas? Try to understand. If you talk more about the sweaters, right? When you are manufacturing sweaters, which is the season you will manufacture more sweaters? Now, when you have demand only, then you will actually manufacture it. When you don't have demand, you will not manufacture it. So, demand and the supply will also play. So, that is, we call that as seasonal factor. In the month of uh, Jan, Feb, March, what exactly the seasons are there? Now, in winter, which is the uh, peak for few of the product? In winter, which is the lean for few of the product? So, this is what they actually calculate and then they will go with working capital management. So, these are the things which you need to understand, students. Working capital, only half of the portion I have completed in this session. Next session, I'll be completing the entire working capital. That is the factors which affects the working capital. Stay tuned for the next uh, session as well. Thank you. Until then, I'll see you when I see you.